course I just hit record without thinking about what I'm going to say. I know what I'm doing. Okay, so. Making noises. Making the camera just flop everywhere. Stop focusing on me. Just focus on me. Well, not focusing on me. You can't see my face, but I'd rather you see my desk than... Most of Why are my fingers so pink? Why are you so pink? Is it the camera? I don't know. Anyway, hi guys, it's Nix Ray Ray. I, uh, this is the officially back from vacation slash hiatus video. Um, it's taken me a while because I was useless after travel, but while I was enjoying my time off, I did buy stuff at a Michael store because I can't help myself and I got Ta -da! it's a Windsor and Newton kind of like compact little it technically can be used for travel kit well it is a, it's a travel little kit palette thing um, because even though I had already taken a travel kit with me that I made myself I'll show you guys later I'll show you that in a different video if you guys want um, I don't know. I just have a very bad impulse that if someone is taking me to Michael's, I have to buy something at my at Michael's. Actually, that's true with any store. I feel really bad when I like enter a store and then I don't buy anything, and I think that has been programmed into me by stores. But anyway, like capitalist brainwashing aside, I couldn't help myself but get this compact little travel kit because like basically it's everything that I made in my own like DIY travel kit but like more compact and it's got like all these cute I haven't used it yet even though I bought it like in the beginning of my vacation anyway I have like all these cute little colors I need to rearrange them if you put it upside down these will fall out um, okay this is an ultramarine blue so I got reference books too so this will be able to tell me if it's warm or cool but I'm pretty sure ultramarine is supposed to be well this is cerulean blue and I figured cerulean blue would be the warm one so I don't know I would think that they would give me two sets of, of like or not two sets like a cool color and a warm color with the primaries but I'm not sure now wait a minute this is sap green. Sap green should be the warm color because it's a blue, but it's veering towards yellow. Does that make sense? No, I don't think that's how that works. I'm not sure how color theory works yet, but that's a sap green. Uh, you can. This is a viridian hue, so you can tell like oh, this one already looks like cool. I think it's because it's closer to the blue green. And this is closer to the yellow green so I think I was right this is warm this is cool um, the oh, I'm not, I won't be able to get those out this not without fucking up the how they stay in there because I can push them in all I want there's not gonna be a click so I just turn them over there's not okay these are Oh, that's not true. I put all of these out to take off the wrapping. They all came in wrapping. So I could take these out and they could fit right back in. I don't understand. Okay, this, so this is an uh, Al Al This is of the Alzurian Crimson. Oh, see, it's very red in the camera. I'm looking at them like in real life and I'm like, I can't tell what color this is. Um, oh, and this is Purple Lake. So the darker red and the reddish purple on this side, good to know, and yep, can't fit like they need to. I don't want to break this because I just got it, but I'm gonna end up breaking shit. How do you stay? How do you stay in here? So what is this? A cadmium red hue. So this is the cadmium red hue. Cadmium cat cat red purple. This is the cadmium red purple hue, so they're like, well, can you see?
see without the shadow? Like, okay, with the shadow, you can see that there's sort of writing on here. Um, that's how I'm reading all the colors. But this is the cadmium, 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 cadmium. Is it cadmium or cadmium? This is the used to be toxic, or is toxic, the toxic red hue. So it's not actually the toxic one. It's a mix of colors to make it. So it's less toxic. There's also cad, cad, they do make cadmium free colors now. I want to look into those when I have the funds and also I wear these down a bit because I keep buying new things and I'm like, oh, I'll just buy more when I'm not, when I, when I can't buy these anymore. But these go on forever. Like I'm making myself broke because like watercolors last for a very long time. That's why they come in like these little tiny things. They last freaking forever. But I don't have the patience to be like, I can wait. This is lemon yellow. Um, you can actually, when's it, when it's in shadow, so maybe I need to move the window. Um, when it's in shadow, you can kind of see how I'm seeing it. This is a very bright kind of, is lemon cool or, I'll learn color theory, I promise, I'm sorry. Um, so that's lemon yellow. I believe this was, uh, this next one right um, to it is either a medium or an ochre yellow. I can't remember just offhand. Cadmium yellow. It was neither, it was cadmium yellow. Hue. Hue, so it's not toxic to me and I can just, I'm not gonna lick it. I can, I shouldn't, don't lick it. Oh, like, okay, so there's like these little grooves and I'm gonna, go insane. This one is a, oh, this one's the yellow ochre. Okay, so this one's the yellow ochre. It's more of like a dark yellow, so it's really good for like the trees, because it's next to the brown. Oh, and this one just pops out. Once I get water in these, they'll they'll want to stick inside, inside the little, is that better? No, I'm still pink. Anyway, this is a burnt sienna, and that's like a it's more of a warm brown because it's burnt and everything, so like red, but can I put it back? No, I can't. So, ooh, maybe, <gasps> maybe, <gasps> maybe, maybe not. And it came with a cute little round brush I was playing with. Um, it is a size five. Can you see? It's This isn't an auto camera but it's a size five it's a tiny little travel brush I love using the rounds they're like the most versatile of the brushes and this is the Cotman series of Winsor Newtons so it's the most echo like it's the most ecological with the best I don't I don't think this is the student grade quality I think this is more like the economic artist grade you can pull out like another little palette to go right here with little grooves and everything and you hold it like this Ex well technically you got the majority of you guys will probably hold it like this because you're right-handed but I a lefty and a bastard will hold it like this so but today I'm not traveling because it's late and I'm tired I will be using this brush though have to learn how to well, you have to learn how to use every new brush you get and there's already like little strays in here okay maybe that will clean the brush a bit just some water give me some water let me get this little clay dish i made to hold okay well that's not gonna hold any of my paints let's do that it has already been 10 minutes i was this is my swatching cards um, anytime I get a new watercolor um, tool, uh, medium paint, I um, get one of the Artist Loft Level 2 watercolor paper because this is kind of, since this is like, uh, Artist Loft is always like really good for like basic papers. So like you're, you, it's a good starting point to figure out where, um, the color how the color works it is not 100% cotton so it will take longer to dry and even though 
this says cold press. Um, the water, the paper itself doesn't have a lot of dimples. So it's actually, I, I feel it's more of a hot press. But I use this paper because it's cheap and it helps me with the swatching, this pen, pencils, whatever the hell. Oh, that's the, the, everything is so vivid in this camera. I'm not used to it. But like, I'll have like the gouaches, um, inks is in a diff I need to get the inks on here, out of here. But that's basically my little swatch flash card table and I'm going to get a new one for these. So that will be fine. I'm getting very distracted. Let's label these. Oh shit. Now my fingers in it. Where the hell is my towel? Like, oh I did, it's over there. Sorry, I had to move my phone because it was on my towel. Always have a towel, kids. Or people of an artistic persuasion. Akeen. Okay. And I am by no means an expert in this. By God, I just started taking art seriously as a medium, like January. So why am I running an art channel? Because I want to. Okay, so I think I am ready. I, okay, let's get to it. I should have put these in a different order because now if it doesn't like flow correctly, it's gonna bug me. Okay, so let's start with the orange. I also got some, along with the travel kit, I also got some individual colors, um, tubes, also Windsor Newton. They were the deoxazine purple and like a turquoise because those are like my favorite colors ever to add to like watercolor. And like, I usually try to stay in the range of only take the primary colors and then learn color theory to make the other colors that you need. But sometimes you just want that purple, you know? This is a very teeny brush. And I don't know how I will adjust to this in the real world, but adjust I shall. This this I sh well no I was not gonna wait to open it on my vacation because me and my SO are very much into art right now but um, what this thing came with was what was it um, it came with like a little card which I left in my room Damn it. So I left the card for it in my room and it gave me all these options of different colors. Alternatively to these, there were like 40 different colors they said rather than like just the 14 that they gave me. And I was looking through all of them and I think the only one I might struggle with, even though I'm like, kind of like into it and want to learn how to use it properly. Um, one of these colors is granulated. I actually think it might be this one, the red orange cadmium, but um, a lot of these are kind of just like, they're all permanent pretty much, but some of these are only like a staining power um, it said and there was only a couple that were like opaque-ish and I believe that was the yellows. 
Honestly, this is building. I really kind of love this Alzurian red. It's like, it's a, okay, so I can tell now that this is definitely a cooler red. I can like see the blues sort of in it if I take it apart in my mind. I don't know if a lot of people can do that. I was trying to explain it to my, um, I'm trying to explain it to my little partner over in Tejas. And I've been told to stop calling it Tejas. Um, but I like the lifting it can do. Um, sorry, I have like a towel right here. It's just easier when I put it on my lap like this because I always kind of it's a it's a habit from when I was baking, just like clean your hands off by your side. Um Let's do something different. Let's put the water down on the purple lake first and then see how that goes. This is kind of a learning curve, this sh very short brush. I might, just to get things moving, go to a larger brush, but also I need to learn how to use this brush, so maybe not. Ooh, that was sticky. I kind of like it when it's sticky like that, even though if I were to touch it with my hands, I would hate it. That's so pretty. Like, it looks a lot more red um, in my little card capture. This actually looks like fuchsia to me in the... In, on, in, on the camera recording. But, like, in, in real life, it's very purple, and I very love it. Purple is actually my second favorite color. So most people would assume it's my first though, because I wear a lot of purple. Um, my favorite color is orange. I didn't think I could pull that off though with my skin tone, so I kind of used to avoid it a lot. But then I realized, like, you always realize stuff later in life how much how stupid you are. Um, like as a as a youngin but I realized if I liked orange I should just wear fucking orange because anyone else who has my skin tone and has worn orange they're like I really like this color it looks good on me like holy hell yeah wear it because it looks great on you but like to say that it doesn't look good on me when I'm when color theory is very much a thing you cannot ignore no matter what It's just in all of life, whether you think about it or not. This needs to actually, I think my um, brush is a little dry because these are getting a lot more stickier than I imagined. Um, oh, that's a very, some yellows I really can't look at. Like it kind of hurts to look at sometimes, but like you have to, I, me personally, I have to love them because it's part of the rainbow. And my very first favorite color, you know, you always have to change like your favorite colors along the lines of like living. My very first favorite color I decided was the rainbow. If you can hear that outside, please ignore it. That is my family. I live on a farm. We get loud. Um, Yeah, I decided it was, the rainbow was my favorite color. Um, hashtag in hindsight. But, um, yeah. So, like, I have to love yellow for all of its flaws. Otherwise, I wasn't a good little Christian five-year-old. Um, because you're not allowed to hate people, I was told. Uh, but, like, very bright yellows, like this lemon one kind of hurt to look at if I don't like like right next to this purple it's very weird like I can't and I can like see a lot of different colors um, nothing official because doctors are expensive but I think I am one of those people who have like that extra thing in their eye to help see more vivid color 
I don't like to proclaim it a lot because, like I said, without, like, proof, I'm just trying to, like, blow smoke up my own ass, but it's really weird because I will I will get, I used to get into fights with my siblings about what color is what, and, like, I would be very passionate about it, and either they were not passionate about it, or they really just didn't want to deal with me because they would insist it's one color when I said no it's actually this like I used to get into fights well not fights like I used to get be I used to be very passionate about what magenta was in the color spectrum um, like they my family would always insist that it was like a purple or a red and I'm like no because if it was red it would be it would look it would have to look more like this and it's not so it's not a red in which case technically now I know I'm right because like the whole light primaries are magenta cyan and yellow when like acrylic I guess or like paint primaries are red yellow blue and I use both actually um, in a mix like when it comes to like the travel kit that I made myself from complete scratch I have both I have a red and a magenta I have two different yellows a an ochre yellow and then like a pastel ish yellow and then I have a I have an indigo blue and then I have like a cerulean blue and it makes some interesting colors, but um, I know now that I technically was right, so I can put that little thing out of my head now, finally, after decades. Oh, that was not my dirty, god damn it. Okay, so that wasn't my dirty cup. That was my clean cup. I'm not going back though. It's very weird now talking live-ish like to the camera. Sorry to get like my hand all up in your face. Um, I was kind of more looking into doing like the voiceovers like I have been doing. Um, did you pull it down? I thought that would be a thing, but it's not a thing. Not yet. I do know. Oh, see that looks blue now. In the capture, this is supposed to be, it looks blue. What if I put you guys closer up? Can you? Uh, there we go. It, okay, it's a little more green. I can get it. Okay, sorry for that interruption. Um, right, I am on hues. Let's go to ultramarine blue. <sighs> what was I talking about? I went from saying I can't look at lemon yellow next to this purple lake purple. Um, used to get into fights over what magenta was. Technically, it's a category all on its own. I was wrong, but I was right, because it's not red. Um, okay, what else can I talk about then? How boring is my life that I can't figure anything to talk about other than what I used to fight about as a child? Um, if y'all want to know, my vacation was really delightful. Um, I spent like a week and a half over at my boyfriend's house um, over in Texas. I got to visit his family for the second time. Apparently they love me. I cannot figure out why. But it's a thing and I'm not going to question it. Now I'm back. A little sad because I miss him. It's where 
very much one of those gross couples who aren't all over each other in public because I have a thing about that but like will constantly ask each other am I being too clingy are you okay do I like like do you like this because we're both um we're, we both have a history of physical affection being a problem um and also just like both have ADHD and things like that so like we're very careful to make sure you, um, the other one is okay with certain things. Um, so it, like our relationship really, really works out. I like it. <clears throat> but I do not know how I like the vivid, the vividosity, the vividness. Oh, I did the vivid for you, I think. Goodness, because I was freaking out. I don't know how I like the vividness of this, like the camera, because it looks very vivid and I ha will have to tone it down. In editing maybe I will give you like a small glimpse of what it actually looks like I'll do that in the beginning because I already showed you some stuff do you like how I don't plan anything can you tell that I have ADHD and mostly I can well, I can mostly tell because I love organization I love planning shit I love everything being in its place but getting myself to do that and follow my own gosh dang orders is hell and I fight with myself and I am the worst and I love myself because I am very creative and how I get things done and where I place things but then I forget where I place them because it's so clever and it's out of the way so it's not like ruining the rest of my day when I actually have to focus on stuff I don't want to do Life's a toss-up, you know? I don't even need this if I'm going to be holding the paint thing all the time. So that's the yellow ochre. It really does look more like brown, like off and on camera. It's a which one was supposed to be granulated? I think it was the ultramarine blue that was supposed to be granulated. I re okay, I actually believe it was supposed to be the blue. Because this doesn't look granulated as much. You can't see it because it's far away, but whatever. Um... I'm still basically the voiceover stuff and the live camera stuff is basically the same thing. I'm just talking about whatever is in on my mind, except this one has a little bit more focus because I am doing something at the same time. If I do voiceovers, like I can't watch myself and do the voiceover because I'm just like, what the hell? What the hell am I doing? Launch it, and then I get like that. Oh, this is actually like pretty translucent. Um, but now that I have something in front of me to focus on, I can just talk and talk and talk and annoy myself and talk about nothing and talk about everything and flip flop everywhere. And it's kind of great. Like I don't get to do this a lot actually. And I'm really trying like I really love doing this it's something I've always loved doing even when I wasn't doing art and I was just doing like for those of you who don't know um, my gaming channel who I that I talked about in previous videos um, started actually back in like 2015 or something 16 15 17 at some point I think it was 15 um, I switched over through a lot of genres and I eventually, most of the clippings as of right now in 2020 of August, uh, most of those are still technically let's plays and playthroughs of, is that, that's not brown, that's not black, that is straight up brown, that's just straight up brown, I can't remember which brown apparently, but I was fooled because I didn't want to take it out because all of these are a little like mix mismatch now. Oh yeah, this is oh this is raw sienna. Or raw umber. That was burnt sienna, so this must be raw umber. Okay. So not black. Guys, this is not black. I don't know if you can tell, but it's not. Um 
And so, yeah, like, I... I never really got, like, far in the YouTube stuff because then I was like, I should go to school. And, like, doing school and YouTube was a very tough task for me. Like, it was... I had to prioritize school because I knew if I didn't, I would fail and flunk out. And that's not something I like to admit doing. So I just had to take a break and then I was like, I miss it. And so when I was trying to start up again, it's like just getting back into the flow and realizing I'm a completely different person than I was like last year or the year before, definitely from the year before, or like when I started YouTube. So I have to like figure out who I am all over again and I figured that things like this kind of don't always have to mix with video games like yes there is game art um, that is definitely a thing and eventually I might do that on the ch my gamer channel because right now I'm focusing on like still playing video games because I need a filler and well not just filler I want to play I want a reason to play video games again for someone who you know went to school for game design I don't play a lot of video games and that's sad but um, yeah how why was I talking about that oh right because I forgot about so the voiceover stuff I go on so many different tangents. Um, yeah, so the I do I do live sort of videos for game design and everything, um, but it's mostly like technical talk. I don't just get to like go off shoot and everything, um, but I can with these. Like it's this is more of like a freedom channel for me. Like I get to express myself. I get to talk about whatever I want. I don't get to be. I don't have to worry about being interrupted. The fuck? This is definitely gonna have to be edited down. But this is the... Con Let me see if the light... Getting rid of the light will help with some value issues. Okay. So that, and then... Manual zoom! So, this is my swatch of, come on, that's not even, I moved over here so I wouldn't have dogs barking and now I have just tractors everywhere. I'm, here's the swatch, here's the swatching of the Winsor Newton Cotman Travel Kit. There's 14 colors. That is still not in focus. Ma manual focus, that's the word. I don't understand. Um, this is a lot more blue-ish than you would think. Um, but yeah, every, why, every, why is everything warmer, I think? Okay, so anyway, that is this. Thanks for letting me gab about anything if you made it to the end of this. I very, actually, much appreciate it. And, hey, look, it's me. Can you, am I, I'm not going to be in focus. There I am. So, that's me. This is how I am. I don't know how often I'd be doing the live camera, but that would have to actually do a lot more planning involved. So think about it. Tell me, let me know how you felt about this video. Um, check out my Patreon. Check out my gaming channel if you want. I really can't think right now still. It has been, it's not even been a week since I've been back and I didn't know you could get jet lag from only going like two time zones away. But my brain is useless. So I'm sorry for that. That probably explains a lot actually in the video. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Mwah. That was too much. I'm sorry. That was inappropriate.